Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it is already. You bought the old 47 all day for real AMP and pop off. Bob Health as much rubber league information as possible. And right now, we've got the 1997 Super League Wooden Spoon going to North Queensland Cowboys. Their second spoon in three years. And so you don't miss any crucial rubber league information watching this video all the way through to the end, as per always. Right. This one here, Cowboys Super League Wooden Spoon, needs quite a lot of explaining effects. Actually, needs a ton of explaining, to be precise. So, let's get straight into it. So, first of all, like I've already said before, the years 1995, 1996, and 1997 were three tumultuous years in the history of the Australian Rugby League. In 1995, it was a 16 competition with four new teams joining. So, we had a 20 team competition, supposed to be the dawn of the golden era. So, the four new teams were Auckland Warriors, um, South Queensland Crushers, Perth Reds, and North Queensland Cowboys. And of course, like I've said before, Warriors and Cowboys are the only two teams who lasted and still around to this very day. Perth Reds and South Queensland Crushers dissolved. So for this particular year, Super League, this was also the, as well as being the Cowboys' second wooden spoon, it was also the Perth Reds' final season. And there was a few teams in the Super League that a lot of rugby league fans might not have even heard of before. Like, obviously, I know some of us remember them, and some of them know about them, but yeah, a few teams that are probably only going to, well, actually, are in fact only going to mention in, in this video only, yeah, because they were only around for such a short amount of time. So, what happened was, in 1997, we actually ended up with two competitions running simultaneously. We had 12 teams in the 1997 ARL competition, and we had 10 teams in the 1997 Super League competition, because um, in all this war, like citing the new Super League, that had um, ripped, ripped the game in half, torn the game to shreds, so to speak, like divided it down the middle, and pretty much all the teams were suffering a great deal because of it. So with that said, it's forgivable the Cowboys got this wooden spoon in Super League 997. Obviously someone had to get it. I said already the Cowboys' first year was 995 in the Unified competition, and they got that wooden spoon. And they also got this one in Super League 997. I said, okay, those two wooden spoons were forgivable because I was such a young team at that point in time and with all the endless drama going on, obviously affected all the teams. But then three years later, which we'll have a video for coming up soon, in the year 2000, Cowboys got that wooden spoon. Definitely no excuses for that wooden spoon, because they've been around long enough to be playing better at that point in time. And the following year, the year 2001, it was actually Penrith who got the spoon, but only on for and against. Penrith and North Queensland had both finished with seven wins and 19 losses each in the 2001 season. The Cowboys only avoided the 2001 spoon purely on for and against, and for and against only. So... But, like I said, at this point in time, it's still forgivable. Cowboys getting the spoon, and like I said, they only just got it. So, the 10 teams in the Super League, so all the teams that people have heard of, there was the Brisbane Broncos, Granada Southern Sharks, Canberra Bankstown Bulldogs, Canberra Raiders, Penrith Panthers, um, Auckland Warriors and North Queensland Cowboys. So the seven teams we have heard of. So the other three teams, it was the Perth Reds, who I said, ended the comp in 995. This was their final year, their third and final year, Super League 997. Also, the Adelaide Rams, and this was actually their first year, Super League 997. Then in 998, when we had a unified competition again, Adelaide Rams participated in 998, but that was their only two years and they dissolved. And in Super League 97, we also had the Hunter Mariners, so like the second Newcastle team, and um, they had last one year, unfortunately. <laughs> they played one year only, this Super League year. So that explains all the teams that were in Super League. And eventually, it was Brisbane Broncos who beat Cronulla Southern Sharks 26 points to 8 in the 9-1-7 Super League Grand Final. Brisbane's legendary centre Steve Renoff getting a Grand Final hat-trick, getting three tries in that Grand Final for both of them beat Cronulla easily. But, like I said, Cowboys could consider themselves unlucky to get this particular wooden spoon, Super League 9-1-7, because there was daylight between the top five and the bottom five teams in Super League, and Cowboys found themselves locked in a five-way battle for the, for the wooden spoon. So... What that means is Auckland Warriors, Perth Reds, Hunter Mariners, Adelaide Rams, and Cowboys, those five teams were the teams that missed the finals, there was only two points separating them. The Cowboys had finished in um, last place with 12 competition points. From their 18 games, they'd managed five wins, 11 losses, and two draws. Adelaide had finished second last with 13 competition points, so Cowboys only got the spoon by one competition point. And the other three, Perth, Hunter, and Warriors, they all only got 14 competition points. So, even though Cowboys did get last, they were actually only, yeah, two points off like finishing sixth and nearly, make, nearly making the final. So, um, they probably could consider themselves hard done by to have gotten this wooden spoon 
and that's why what I'm saying was forgivable. So, with all that introduction out of the way, finally we'll get to get to the stats. So, Cowboys 997 wooden spoon, they played 18 games, 5 wins, 11 losses, and 2 draws. And in attack, they'd scored 328 points, and in defence, conceded 452. So, the 4 and against minus 124. No one here is horrendous, as some of the other wooden spoon teams 4 and against. Or even there, 4 and against in 995 in the year 2000. Um, and the leading scorer, you know, had the one of my personal favourite players. His name was Luke Phillips, and he played fullback, and he was a brilliant last line of defence. And after playing for Cowboys in 97 Super League, he then moved over to Manly in 98, 99, then played for Roosters a few years from 2000 onwards, and was a still a performer, like at every team he played for. Just like a brilliant last line of defence fullback. And he managed to get eight tries, 45 goals for Cowboys in 97 Super League. And that was a total of 122 points which made him the leading try scorer and leading point scorer for Cowboys in 97 Super League. And the other Cowboys player, his name was Ray Mercy, and he managed to get six tries to be the looking second leading try scorer. But then, so with all that said, all that out of the way, tricky explaining what we have to do. What's left then is the moments in the sun and the most embarrassing moments. The moment in the sun, outstanding win, applause. It ran five of the Super League. Cowboys had had the enviable task of having to play ball at Belmore. And this is when Belmore was Bulldogs' permanent home ground and when they were extremely difficult to beat at the venue. They're obviously not as hard to beat there these days, but back then, when it was their permanent home ground, they didn't lose too often there. But in round five of the Super League 97, Cowboys pulled off a stunning 16-14 upset over Bulldogs. Then, another moment in the sun, I should say, first, rounds nine through to rounds 15. So that seven-game period, rounds nine to round 15 of the Super League, Cowboys had had three wins, two draws, and only two losses. So, like, more competition points than usual. But then, unfortunately, the most embarrassing moment followed, and they actually lost the last three games. And that's how they um, ended up with the spoon, by losing the last three games. Most embarrassing game, the very last game. Round 18, 97 Super League round 18, Cowboys were thumped by Auckland Warriors 50 points to 22. And that's how they, in fact, ended up with the wooden spoon. They're very, very humiliated. So, like, that obviously... Um, Work themselves into a position with that improved patch of form between round 9 and round 15. They'd work themselves into a position to be avoiding the spoon, possibly making the finals if they'd won two or all three of their last three games, but they just couldn't keep up the momentum and yeah, and like floundered. Yes, it floundered to get their second wooden spoon eventually. So, I don't usually do it, but since we're here and since it's just a one off, because this was the only Super League competition that, that there ever was. Thankfully, the next year, 1998, we called it the NRL, National Rugby League, and we had a unified competition. Like some of the teams obviously didn't make it, like I just said. Hunter didn't make it, didn't make the 1998 um, NRL, and Perth Ricks didn't make it. And then eventually, at the end of um, at the end of 1998, Gold Coast Chargers became extinct, Adelaide Rams became extinct. Then in 1999, a lot of teams merged, Western Balmain merged to become West Tigers. Um, St George and Illawarra had already merged to become St George Illawarra for the start of the 99 season. And of course, Manly and North merged to become Northern East, so there was still a lot of upheaval going on. So it's actually, tumultuous time was actually the years 995 up to the year 2000, is what I should have said at the start of the video. But at least the worst of it was gone. At the end of 997, at least the worst of it was gone. And while 1998, 999, and the year 2000 was still tumultuous, there was a lot at the end of the tunnel, blocked the game as a whole, and we finally had a unified competition again. But before that, all the scores for the Cowboys Super League um, wooden spoon. So in round one, they'd begun with a 24-16 win over Adelaide Rams. Round two, they'd lost to Perth Reds 22-20. Round three, they'd lost to Penrith 19-12. Round four, they'd lost to Hunter Mariners 38-10. So a very, very disappointed one there, losing to one of the other teams down the bottom of the ladder by a big score. Round five, like I mentioned, the outstanding 16-14 win over Canterbury at Belmore. Never an easy thing to do, even for any of the top teams. Round six, though, embarrassing loss to Brisbane, their big brother, 42-16. Round seven, lost to Perth Reds at 6-4. So, yeah, if they, yeah, they could have won that one. Only lost to Perth 6-4, two points. If they could have won that one, they would have ended up avoiding the wooden spoon, but not to be. Round eight, I lost to Canberra, 40-16. Round nine, a win over Auckland, 30-22. So, obviously, Auckland remember that. And like I said already in the last round, when Auckland thumped them 50-22, took the revenge. So the point is, Cowboys were going close to avoiding the wooden spoon at different stages of the season. In round 10 and 11, back-to-back -back draws. In round 10, a draw of Adelaide 14 all. And in round 11, a draw of Brisbane 20 all. Round 12, a loss to Cronulla 24-10. Um, 
Round 13, I lost to Canterbury. 29-22, round 14, I lost to Penrith. Oh, sorry, my bad. In round 14, a win over Penrith, 33-26. Round 15, a win over Hunter Maryland's 33-14. See, look, getting some wins. Yeah, two scored 33 points, two games in a row. Looked like they were improving enough to shake off the wooden spoon. But like I said already, the last three games, they just couldn't get the job done. In round 16, they went down to Canberra, 22-14. Round 17 went down to Granada 34-12. And round 18, their most embarrassing moment, losing to Warriors 50 points to 22. And that's how they wrapped up the wooden spoon. So even though they got the wooden spoon, they only got it by one means of competition point. And there were quite a few games during the year where they only just lost. And if they could have just won those, would have then ended up avoiding the wooden spoon. Not to be. And one of the five teams down the bottom of the Super League, Super League ladder did, in fact, have to get it. So there you go. Yeah, it was 997 wooden spoon popped off all day AM and PM. Like I said, 998, we finally had a unified competition again. And it was West, West Magpies, was mentioned a lot of times already. You've got the wooden spoon in 998 and 999. And we've definitely got all the scores. We've definitely got every single one of West scores in both years in those two wooden spoon videos coming up because it's easily two of the worst wooden spoons. So bad that they couldn't survive alone at the merge of Belmain at the end of 1999. Thank you so much for watching all the way through to the end so you didn't miss any important crucial rubber league information and thank you so much always for ongoing polarizing proving all everyone's support. Boy all day. B forty seven.